Hey folks, Matt Easton here, Scholar Guide Tour, and I have come here from my sick bed. I've roused myself for the very um, urgent need of coming to the rescue of two of my friends and colleagues um, on YouTube, that being Lloyd, Lindy Beige, and Shad of Shadiversity Channel. Um, and they have an issue with a certain type of structure on fortifications, on castles, which I'm not going to name for a second, but you'll see from the title what I'm talking about. And it seems that there's some, not controversy so much as some confusion about how to say this word. And we're going to look at that. That, um, here. But I just wanted to point out that, you know, first of all, we're very lucky in the UK and in fact, generally speaking in Europe, because we've got lots of fortifications around. Uh, in fact, from where I'm sitting here, there is a castle over there. There is a castle over there and there are several castles over there. Um, uh, in fact, there's some castles over there as well. So there's literally castles in every direction. I can drive in for about 30 minutes, less than that actually. I can drive for 15 minutes in that direction and get to a castle. I can drive for uh, 15 minutes in that direction and get to castle. I can drive for half an hour in that direction and get several castles and I can drive for half an hour maybe 40 minutes in that direction and get to several castles. So we have lots of castles around but that doesn't mean that by any means we're experts on castles uh, and certainly when it comes to terminology sometimes even the experts on castles are, don't necessarily know everything and sometimes we need to drill a little bit deeper into the uh, linguistic um, and historical evidence, the textual evidence, to actually find out what a thing was called. But in this particular scenario, we're just going to focus on this one structure and where the term comes from and how it's supposed to possibly be said. Now, before I go into this, of course, some of you will be saying, oh, but Matt, this particular structure was probably called slightly different things, written in different ways, pronounced in different ways, in different places at different times. And in fact, Lloyd, in his recent video, which I've um, been watching this morning on, um, on ladders, um, Escalade ladders for um, attacking castles during sieges, covers, it, it kind of mentioned this. He says that, you know, fair enough, there are different ways of pronouncing this word and probably in different countries uh, it wasn't necessarily pronounced the same. So what I'm going to focus on here is what English speakers at least, and you might if you're German or uh, Polish or um, whatever, Spanish, you, you might have a completely different word for this structure and you might say it in a different way. That's fine. I'm not going to tell you how to say the word in your um, country, but in terms of in English language, how we should pronounce this word that we have got based on where it comes from and how it's applied. Now, it seems at least in the English language, this word came probably from uh, med medieval Middle French uh, into, into English, into medieval English, uh, from the word uh, and I'm gonna and I'm gonna explain how I say it here, mashikuli. Um, now the reason I say mashikuli is because what I did is I went and saw that this word had a French origin, at least uh, it came from French into English, and uh, it uh, was almost certainly pronounced this way more or less in English to begin with. Um, and I asked my very good friend Fabrice Cogno, the well-known bladesmith, um, how to pronounce or how he as a modern French, Burgundian in his case, would pronounce this term. So this is how Fabrice says this word. I say machicouli, he says... Machicouli, 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 machicouli. So thanks very much for that, Fabrice. I'll put a link to your uh, to your Facebook page below. If you don't know Fabrice's uh, products and what he make, what he makes, go and check that out. Now he makes awesome stuff. Um, so the simple fact is that machicoli essentially became machicolations or um, uh, machicolation. It would have been originally so machicolation. It would have been and then into machicolation um, into English. Now, it's not implausible that some English people may have written matriculation, perhaps matriculation, um, although I don't think it would have perhaps been as exaggerated as Shad's Australian kind of take of it, which in fairness to Shad is just based, I think, on him reading the word from books. And there are many, you know, many of us uh, probably um, say words as we see them in books. And originally that wasn't how they were intended to be pronounced. Uh, but uh, this is how Shad pronounces the word. How do you say it? Matriculations. <laughs> So my version of uh, Shad's rendition there is machicolation. 
machicolation. Uh, that obviously is a bad Australian accent thrown in there as well. But I think that the chick uh, is probably too much of a ch and has probably got too much accent on it. Um, so I think it was more likely to be machicolation, mach sorry, machicolation or machicolation, something like this. Um, now, Going to Lloyd's point, now this is controversially, this is kind of where it all started. So I first became aware of this uh, controversy actually, uh, thanks to Lloyd picking up on the topic. And this is how Lloyd actually pronounces the word. Will you be adding any maculations to any of the sets for the film? So as you see, what Lloyd has done is he has assumed that the CH um, comes from an, an ancient Greek origin, um, which it may or may not do, and this is part of the problem here. So, I've said that this word came into English coming from the um, f from the French, and that's basically true. But this word is attached to a certain type of structure, and this certain type of structure actually came into castle building um, during the Crusades as a result of contact with the Arabic-speaking world. Now, uh, when Arabic um, technology came into the uh, Christian world, into Christendom, it sometimes came with uh, with associated um, Arabic language or Arabic terminology. And it's possible that uh, machicolation or machicolations were one of these as well. It's possible that those were also from uh, an Arabic origin because the structure, because the structure, the defensive structure found over certain uh, gateways that allow you to drop things down, do in fact originate, it seems to be, in the Arabic world, in the Middle East, during the Crusades. And there is a type of um, balcony, in fact, found in the Arabic world, which has a word which this may give uh, machicolations or ma machicolation. The wooden balcony in question, I believe, is called a mashrabia. Now, the rabia pit, we don't need to worry about, but it starts with mash. The phonetic sound of it is mash. Now, what's very interesting about that, therefore, is if there is a type of balcony and there is a type of normal civilian balcony and there is a type of uh, military balcony, which both start with this phonetic sound of mash at the beginning. And so, therefore, it could be that when this just came into French, they just took that sounding, took that sound, that phonetic sound, and put it into a French word and just adopted the word basically into French. So therefore, I think that reiterates that we should be saying machicolations, not machicolations, and not maculations, or machicolations, rather. Um, so it should be machicolations, I believe, both for the potential origin, when we, whether we put the origin as being French or whether we put the origin as being Arabic. Um, uh, and I believe that the time that it came into the English language, it would have been said as machicolation and not machicolation, um, and not as machicolation either. I hope this has been helpful for those watching uh, and interesting. I'd be interested to hear if, um, obviously, if uh, Shad or Lloyd or uh, perhaps even Raffaello at Metatron or anyone else who's interested in this sort of linguistics and medieval history has uh, anything to uh, add to this, or if you're all going to agree that we should be saying machicolations. Thanks for watching. Give us a like and a subscribe, and I'll see you again soon. Cheers, folks.